After you've finished creating and arranging the desired order of all the levels for your game, you'll need to rename them all numerically as whole numbers, starting with 1 for the first level. Then make sure the name of the very first victory screen is the number following the last level. So if the last level of the game is 30, then the first victory screen frame should be called 31. The next step is to go to the frame called Level Select and create as many duplicates of the level image sprites as you need to represent each level. Use Construct's Snap to Grid feature to arrange them neatly in a horizontal row from first to last level and change the selection number and which level name variables of the sprites to match the level they represent. Repeat this process for the level node sprites that should be positioned below each level image sprite, being sure to set its variable to its proper level number. Click this frame's name in the project's window to get to its properties and you can adjust the width of the frame to accommodate as many new game levels as you need to. If you double click any level image sprite to get into its frame and animation editor you'll see it has two frames per animation and it can have as many animations as you'd like. The first frame represents the level if it's unlocked, and the second frame represents the level if it's still locked. You can create an animation for every last level of the game, such as a reduced screenshot of that level, or an original illustration that represents it, but be careful. If your game has lots of levels, and you keep the level image sprite fairly large, you'll increase the game's loading time and memory usage by having two unique images for every level of the game. For games with a large amount of levels, a good solution is to have sequences of levels follow a specific theme, such as an environment type, then actually add a sprite as a background graphic behind each series of themed levels. This way you can break levels into worlds and use the same animation, such as the numbers 1 through 4, for example, to represent levels 1 through 4 of each world. That's it! Now your player can earn their way to all of the levels in your game by beating the previous ones. Thanks for watching.